Hey friends, welcome to Sojo Videos. My name is Joan and today I'm going to show you guys how to make DIY stickers, specifically flower stickers. Now, I've actually made this type of DIY sticker before on my channel, but specifically today I'm going to be making these flower pressed ones. Now that we're a bit past spring, almost into summer seasons, I've been dry pressing flowers and decided to make them into stickers and show you guys how to do that. This is perfect for little mini gifts, scrapbooking, or to decorate any cards or any other presents that you have if you're giving them to people. They're super quick and super easy to make, so I highly recommend trying out this cute DIY. Materials will be listed down below. If you have any questions about the tutorial, let me know in the comments. And with that, let's get on with the tutorial. For materials, you'll need some parchment paper, packing tape, pressed flowers, and a pair of scissors. For the pressed flowers I'll be using in this video, they're just cherry blossoms that I picked up, but you can use any type of flowers or even greenery if you wanted. And if you've never pressed flowers before, it's actually really easy. You just put your flowers in between the pages in the middle of a really thick book. But instead of what I'm doing here, I actually recommend that you press them in between paper towels that you put on the book pages first. But either way, after a week, you're gonna end up with some really nice pressed flowers. But to move on to the actual DIY, we're going to need a piece of parchment paper and our packing tape. And for our first step, we're going to take a strip of packing tape and we're basically going to tape it onto the parchment paper. Now it's important to make sure that when you tape it down, the tape is completely smooth and there's no air bubbles caught in between. Thankfully, the packing tape doesn't actually stick to the parchment paper very well, so it's easy to adjust if you need to. But after taping down a strip of the parchment paper, if your flowers are small enough, you can start putting them onto the tape. It's really important that they're small enough that there's tape all around the sides of the flowers and that they can technically fit within the strip of tape. As I'm doing here, you're then gonna take another strip of tape and put it over the flowers and on top of the tape that we put originally on the parchment paper. Now again, it's really important that you try to tape it down so that there's no air bubbles and that the second strip of tape completely overlaps the first one that we put down. And now we're gonna make sure the tape is securely taped onto the first one by just kind of rubbing out any air bubbles and any space. And now we're gonna move on to cutting out our flowers. Now the key for this is to leave a bit of space in between the flower and the tape. And this is the only way the stickers are going to actually stick. If you cut right to the edge of the flower, there's no tape left over to actually stick onto whatever it is you're putting the sticker on. In terms of how much space you want to leave, I would recommend leaving a decent amount around the petals and outside so that there is some surface area that the sticker is able to stick to. But technically you're able to do whatever shape you'd like as long as there is area for tape and not just flower left over. And this is also why it's important that your tape has overlapped with each other so that the flower is securely taped in place and there's tape on the bottom side to actually stick to things. You can also do this with scrap or smaller pieces of parchment paper and then using the same method of putting a strip of tape down, putting your pressed flowers on top, putting another strip of tape on top, and then just kind of rubbing out the air bubbles if needed and pressing down around the flowers to make sure they're taped down, and then cutting out your individual pieces. I was able to make cherry blossom stickers, these petal stickers, and I also made daisy stickers. Some general tips for this DIY is to take your time with it and with practice it does get a bit better with making sure the tape is overlapped properly and that there's no air bubbles. It's really frustrating, but if you take your time, you're able to get pretty seamless looking stickers. You can also make large size stickers with this method as well. So again, we're starting off with our first strip of tape, putting it onto the parchment paper, making sure there's no air bubbles caught underneath. And the flower I plan to put onto the sticker is quite big, so I'm gonna need another strip of tape on the first layer, but I'm gonna make sure that this strip of tape overlaps as little, but still overlaps the first strip of tape we put down. This overlap needs to happen to make sure that the bottom part of the sticker that actually sticks onto things can still stick without any gaps. And we want as little overlap as possible just to make sure that it looks seamless. And with our second layer of tape on top of the flower, we're just gonna do the exact same thing. 
making sure that all parts of the flower is covered by the tape and then for our second strip once again we need to overlap it with the first strip that was put down again try to do it as little as possible so that it looks seamless and if you need to adjust it that's all right just make sure the whole length of the second strip overlaps the first strip we put down for the second layer now i'm going to rub out any air bubbles and make sure that the layers of tape are stuck together even around the edges of the flowers and then cut my sticker out and with that you can now make your own flower press diy stickers and when you're ready to use them just like a normal sticker you'll peel off the parchment paper backing and you'll see that the whole side is sticky and you'll just be able to stick it on like a regular sticker and as i said earlier in the video these are perfect for journaling or if you want to decorate any cards and it's an easy and quick way to kind of spruce up anything you're decorating making it seem a bit more aesthetic and cute You can also get creative in how you stick on these stickers as I did here with the petals. I just wanted to make a cute little heart. And here is the big sticker in action. Again, as long as you did the overlaps correctly, it should work just like any normal sticker and stick on perfectly fine. You can also make these stickers for others as they make a nice aesthetic small gift. So there you have it, that's how you make your DIY press flowers stickers and again you're able to do this with any type of flat object, even just a hand drawn picture. So feel free to use this video as reference or follow my old tutorial on how to make your own DIY stickers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!